Okay, my name, uh, Her Excellency Sheikha Lubna Al Qasimi. I'm the Minister of Foreign Trade from the United Arab Emirates. Well, I'm a government official at the moment, but I was an entrepreneur before in establishing an electronic marketplace uh, for the government of Dubai, a B2B marketplace. Uh, it was used uh, as a business model for um, uh, online procurement for the government. And uh, uh, I do believe that uh, uh, entrepreneurs have a special value that usually differentiate them from anyone else. And I'll give an example. Um, you have people who are innovators and they, they create, but sometimes in a thousand uh, innovation uh, type uh, projects, you may have one that capitalizes as an entrepreneurship uh, potential project. An entrepreneur is a person who sees the opportunity when it comes um, in understanding if this project actually is going to work and have a wealth creation. So not every innovator is an entrepreneur. Um, but an entrepreneur would spot the right opportunity, the right projects, and the right dream and move it forward. And it takes a lot of uh, energy, it takes a lot of uh, uh, far-sightedness from the person. Uh, it takes a lot of guts, a lot of risk uh, in that, but a strong belief uh, in and self-conviction. Yeah. My name is uh, Ebert Primat Natka Wolf. Uh, I'm the Ebert Primat, the highest representative of all of the Benedictines over the world. I'm uh, sitting in Rome the, at Sant'Anselmo on the Aventine Hill. That's my, uh, would say, my lodging, but very often it's up in the air in the airplanes. And so uh, my company are the Benedictine monks. It's the Benedictine order, which is 1500 years old. And uh, I'm not. A we have not a centralized order, but it's a very federal, it's called a confederation. And I have to find a uni uh, I have to find means of unifying uh, the order of collaboration of the monasteries. Uh, so my power is powerlessness, but I have to bring together all of them. And that's the challenge, the big challenge, and also the interesting thing that you can hold a big group together, you may also call them profit center, you hold them together without having jurisdiction. I can never insist you have to, but that's the, uh, the real good chance. For the rest I have to beg around because we don't produce money. Um, our monasteries are all individuals, they have to take care of their own, they are responsible of their own, and for Sant Anselmo, the, my central place in Rome, I have to beg around. We are supported by monasteries, but this is by far not sufficient, especially not for our university, where we have 450 students studying uh, philosophy, theology, and I'm the, the great chancellor also of that university. So, the, but that's not the only thing which makes me an entrepreneur. I'm, at this moment, I'm building a hospital in North Korea. Anyhow, I think that's rather challenging. I have built also a hospital in Manchuria or in Northeast China. And uh, it was 500 beds as a development aid. And I must say, it's very good because now the Chinese are developing it by themselves. It was um, a real help to help themselves. So we as Benedictines, we are doing lots of help all around the world of development aid. So, but my real place is now Sant'Anselmo in Rome and the big challenges to develop this place. I have to reshuffle the whole, um, the whole building to find money for that and to develop also the structure of our university. We have just recently called together the first advisory board, so we shall do quite something. Well, as we are in uh, May 2010, um, maybe a month back, I would have said um, lots of things are moving forward. For example, for us in the United Arab Emirates, things are back to normal, uh, business is growing, and that's very, very important. However, um, as we've seen recently, there are still some issues um, that have not been solved. We've seen countries rising to bankruptcy. We've seen... Um, 
organizations with moral bankruptcy, um, you know, and uh, which created a lot of shock for uh, many people worldwide. Um, in 2009, we were thinking maybe we have reached bottom already worldwide in terms of economic financial crises, um, and we are going back to norm moving forward. But today, um, I question myself whether that's the case. Um, it seems that we still have a lot of issues um, to confront, to work with, and to move forward. But as long as we believe that we are resilient and we can work together, but working together means on a multilateral level and uh, not hide behind protectionism inside countries. Thank you. A very different question, my economic outlook, my personal one, because I don't earn money. I am just uh, supported. I have just, uh, how do you call that, I get the money in order to uh, to pay. Uh, how to, re, uh, Yeah, the, what I'm receiving is practically only the reimbursement of what I have to, uh, the, I want to spend or what I need to spend. But as a monk, I don't get any money. My personal economic outlook is that I have, uh, I'm running now two uh, foundations for our university and for the house of Sant'Anselmo that we may find a little bit money to re renovate our roofs. Yeah, the next thing is uh, our 480 windows which we have to replace and I'm uh, writing letters so that people may um, donate us one or two uh, windows so that in the end we can renew all of our windows but also other things.